between you and Delaware? <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, we uh, we out-rebounded them, which was that was our key. Um, you know, we did get Shantae the ball a good bit. I think we need to make it a little bit easier for her and, and get her a little bit more success in there. But, you know, we out-rebounded them. We played them hard. We did our gambles that we needed to do. And, you know, we need to keep Del Don in, in, the, in the low 20s, 25, 20. That was, our, that was what we talked about in the locker room right there. If we can keep her around 20, if we can keep her under 30, 25, 28, we think we can take care a business next time we play them, and you know, and Lark and Kura, she got to the free throw line seven for ten. So you know, I, you know, there, there's going to be a lot of other points, but right off, right off the bat, you know, Elaine Del Don's not going anywhere, so I can't use that pitch. So you know, what we need to do to try to contain her just a little bit more. And um, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm proud of you guys that were here with JNU. This is the team that I love coaching. This is the team that we are when we choose to to not ever 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 get overwhelmed or let our guard down or let the moment sweep us away. So. That, uh, we have no moral victories, we have no pat on our backs, nothing like this, but you can live and put your head down at night when you know that you could keep coaching them up every possession, and, and you guys have been with us with that, you know the difference. So we have to choose to play this way all the time. We have to choose to play this way all the time, and I think that was my, my big plea to them in the locker room right now after this game. And you talk about having you know, that energy. You know, yeah. You get teed up in the second half, and you just summarize yeah, I mean, no. look, if I had to be the villain a little bit tonight, I might be the villain a little bit tonight. I mean, it's not a role that I really hey. embrace. I'm just a fierce competitor, and I want the game to just play out the way the game should play out. It shouldn't be, you know, and, and look, it had nothing to do with it with the officiating, but there was some momentum. You know, here we are, a team that everybody has problems with momentums and shifts and runs that we do to ourselves by not making a basket. But some phantom calls or just some things that were really – you know, ticky tacky. You just, you just want to go. Come on, let them play it out on the floor. They're good enough. They're good enough. They're going to beat us. We, we just don't need you to be changing momentum swings. I think that was what I was very disappointed. I think Joanne's one of the best officials in the in the business. And you know, I think sometimes you can get caught up. You know, and and I just that part is just it's tough. It's tough. It seemed for the most part the team stayed composed, but yeah. as the crowd got loud, what did you think of that? Yeah, I mean, obviously JMU helped us. You know, we don't play in front of crowds like that. We don't have a lot of experience like that. This team didn't go to Gonzaga last year. You know, Daytona wasn't a big crowd pleaser. So, you know, none of the games we had until we played JMU it was actually the first crowd. Um, so, you know, it, it helped the young kids. So we got better minutes out of Asia today. You know, decent minutes out of Sid today and down Thomas Palmer. And then even Alexis Late. So, you know, that really gives me a lot of hope going into this week. We're going to need everybody this week for this long week we have going on. So, um, but, you know, the more times we can play in that type of environment, you know, the better we're going to be. Coach Amma has scored in double figures in six straight games. Yeah. Just talk about how. I, that actually, that, you know, we just talked a lot about her. Unsung hero, kid that played a five position for us. Now she's guarding a two, a three, and the best player in the nation, you know. So uh, I actually gave her a hug after the game and said that. I was like, can you believe where you have come? Um, you know, she is a little bit of an unsung hero. We had to kind of put Tay on our back tonight. And, uh, you know, I thought we fell short like if Dre could have knocked down a little more of those shots. She played an all-around phenomenal game. I told her to be looking for those shots. I told her to take those shots. She will hit those shots. She can hit those shots. So, you know, uh, the more, the better we get like that. It's better to be taking those than what we were doing and not taking any shots. So, you know, I can live with, uh, with that. Shante almost has a double-double in the first half. Just talk yeah. about the lift she gave to the team early on. Completely, you know, and that's why, you know, she, she had a pretty hard fall early. Um, we were getting the ball to her like crazy with the single coverage in there. And, um, you know, I, I think I think a little bit of that took a toll on her in the second half. But, you know, yes, I mean, we were played some of the best sharing the basketball and offensive movement we have all year today. Deladon hits that three at the buzzer to end the half, then they come out in the second half on a bit of a run. Was that deflating? Um, it's just what they do. If you look at them over the last four years of her being there, a matter of fact, Coach Bill Ferrara, like in my ear, remember, Coach, remember, under three minutes, you know, it's her ball game. First three to five minutes of the second of her ball game. So, you know, we talked about that in that last media time out at four minutes. We're like, okay, you know, we had Bond on the bench. Bond had done a great job. I think she scored eight points. And Candace Bond was on her from the start of the game, if my calculations were correct, you know, until Bond came out. And, um, you know, so we were, that's, that's her. She's a phenomenal player. So, you know, um, you know she's going to do that. That's what she does. So, uh, you know, we just didn't let, we really just definitely tried to chalk off that shot. She had taken it and going to half, just like, don't let it bother you. She's going to make shots. That's what we talked about all week. 
she's going to make some big shots, but you know, you certainly can't let her go on a run for long, you know, the start of the second half and, and bury you. But, you know, we had that, when I go back and look at the film, you know, that 11, we didn't score there for a little bit. It was an 11-point stretch, you know, that just kind of took us a little bit, took us back. You have four games in eight days. This was the first one. How do you keep fresh legs? Yeah, uh, rely on your, your bench for sure because I didn't get to take Shantae out very much today. So, you know, we're going to have to have a lot of really good minutes from everybody this week.